Dolphins fans. Today, we are presented by our good friends over at Manscaped. If you're looking for a Father's Day gift, look no further than Manscaped.com. All their products, 20% off plus free shipping if you use promo code DOLPHINS. On today's show, and I've been looking forward to this show for a long time because we really enjoyed doing this show last year. We're going to talk about five UDFAs that could make the Dolphins' 53-man roster. Last year, we correctly got right uh, that Cater Kohu and Tanner Conner had a shot to make this team both made it. We also talked about Verone McKinley, who made the team later on in the season. Which UDFA do you think will make the 53-man roster? It's kind of an uphill battle for some of those guys, right, to make the team. Uh, but which UDFA do you think will – which UDFA or UDFAs do you think will make the roster? I think the fact the Dolphins only had four draft picks helps their chances a little bit. Two undrafted free agents made the Dolphins' 53-man roster in 2022. Cater Kohu, who is one of the best rookie corners in the entire league. And then Tanner Connor, who I think we're still excited about. We didn't see him much last year. Uh, but I think Tanner Connor certainly still has some potential also worth noting, like I mentioned a second ago, Verone McKinley made the team later on in the season. He was not on the 53-man roster. We begin with number five, and it is a center. Alama Uluave. I cannot believe I nailed that because I botched that first time I talked about this guy. The center from San Diego State. He signed with the Dolphins for $65,000 guaranteed. Got a nice little deal there as UDFA. He was a first-team All-Mountain West selection in 2022, started all 14 games for San Diego State, brings a lot of experience to the National Football League. Only allowed six pressures for the Aztecs last year. So Uliwave is certainly a name here to watch in terms of a guy that can make this team because you look at the center position, you don't have a whole lot of depth there. You have Connor Williams, who's only been a center for a year. He's looking for an extension. Uh, Dan Feeney, who you signed, I personally think he's going to play more guard than center this year. He played more guard for the Jets last year. And then after that, you don't have anybody else. So I do believe that when you look at this current Dolphins offensive line uh, and you look at the fact that Connor Williams is holding out a minicamp, Williams' absence and the lack of depth at that position could give Uluave a chance to to make the 53-man roster, he could potentially be the backup center to Connor Williams. And the fact that Williams is holding out right now, he was not at OTAs, he was not at minicamp, that gives Uluave a chance to make this team, a chance to showcase what he can do for this Dolphins team. Mitchell Agude comes in at number four here. A lot of y'all are big fans of this guy because of what he did at the University of Miami. So, a lot of you that are Canes fans obviously are going to know about Agude, uh, the linebacker who put up good numbers last year at the U. 39 tackles, 7 tackles for loss, 4 sacks, and a forced fumbles for Agude last season with the Canes. And Agude has been showing out at OTAs and at camp. Uh, he is really getting some good reviews from media members that have watched him at camp and at OTAs. Omar Kelly is a huge fan of this guy. Here's what Kelly said about Mitchell Agude. The former University of Miami starter the Dolphins added as an undrafted rookie was so dominant Tuesday, he might cost Keon Smith his training camp roster spot. Smith, the offensive tackle with snapping experience, had no chance blocking Agude, who is a force on the edges, especially when the team isn't in pads. Agude had nearly a half dozen impact plays, half dozen in his 20 to 30 team snaps. So Gude looking really good at Dolphins OTAs, also looking good at Dolphins camp. I do believe he has a chance to make this 53-man roster if he can keep it up. Will Mitchell Gude make the team? Let me know down in the comments section. He was a star for the University of Miami last year on that defense. Can he make this Dolphins team? Type M for make or type C for cut down in the comment section. As we get into our next name, it is Brandon Pilly. The defensive tackle from USC. We'll talk more about him in a second. First, I want to tell you about this great deal over at Manscaped. If you're like me, probably going to be looking for a Father's Day gift pretty soon. Look no further than Manscaped.com. Get 20% off plus free shipping on all their products. 
using promo code Dolphins. And they have a great deal because you can get a lot of their products in one package, the Performance Package. It's going to come with the Lawnmower 4.0 and the Weed Whacker. Also going to come with some beard shampoo and ball toner and a pair of their boxer briefs. Just for $103.99, it's on sale right now. 20% off plus free shipping if you use promo code DOLPHINS. That link, that promo code in the comments and the description of today's video. Go and take advantage of it. Your dad's going to be thanking you on Father's Day if you get him Manscaped. Let's go back to Brandon Pilly, the defensive tackle from USC. Taking a look at the numbers here, he actually played six seasons for the Trojans because of some injuries. Missed the entire 2021 season with an injury. 74 tackles, 10 tackles for loss, four sacks, four pass breakups. Again, he was injured a lot, but when he was on the field, he made a positive impact on that Trojans defensive line. When you look at the current depth chart, Pilly is the backup nose tackle right now. An undrafted free agent is slotted second behind Raekwon Davis on this Dolphins depth chart. You have Josiah Bronson. He's on a futures deal. I included him on this depth chart. Uh, but Pilly might have uh, the inside track here to make this 53-man roster be the second nose tackle behind Raekwon Davis. If Miami does not add another interior defensive lineman, He's got a really good shot to make this team. In fact, he is a near lock to make this team. If he continues to do well at camp, if he continues to do well throughout the preseason, uh, and the Dolphins do not add any more depth there, which I think they should, but they don't, Brandon Peely's probably going to make uh, this football team. I think a lot of y'all want Aubrey Miller to make this football team. The linebacker from Jackson State, uh, he is certainly a name to watch here when you're talking about a dark horse guy that can make uh, the 53-man roster. He signed a three-year, $2.7 million contract. That's huge for UDFA. $110,000 fully guaranteed. And now he's well worth that because you look at what he did at Jackson State. He led the SWAC in tackles. In fact, he was the SWAC defensive player of the year at Jackson State. 117 tackles, 12 tackles for loss, Two sacks, five forced fumbles at Jackson State for Deion Sanders last season. This dude's unreal. I mean, he's an unreal talent. You watch the tape on this guy, you're impressed. A lot of people might say, well, he's undersized. I don't give a crap about him being a little bit smaller than some other linebackers. I'm looking at what he can do for your defense. And the guy plays with a lot of heart. He plays with a lot of energy. He's physical. I think he is going to make this Dolphins team going to make the initial 53-man roster. I've been really impressed uh, with what I've seen from him at camp, at OTAs. I think Aubrey Miller's going to make this football team and should make this football team. Number one on my list, though. Y'all are not surprised. It is Michael Turk, the Oklahoma punter, who the Dolphins signed as a UDFA about two days after the NFL draft. He's competing with Jake Bailey for the starting punter job. He's third, I should say was third in FBS in yards per punt last season. He has a popular YouTube channel, kind of a YouTube legend. Uh, it's called Hang Time. That is the name of his channel, also his nickname, with over 230,000 subscribers. So Michael Turk, a lot of you big fans of this guy, myself included, uh, he's going to be a lot of fun to watch in the preseason. Jake Bailey, when you're looking at this competition, a lot of people think Jake Bailey's going to win it because his contract is fully guaranteed. However, when you're talking about the punter competition or any competition, it should not come down to money. It should not come down to the contract situation. It should come down to whoever the better player is. And if Michael Turk outperforms outplays Jake Bailey in the preseason. He deserves to be the starting punter on this Dolphins team. And you've kind of play, you've kind of gone on, you know, a little merry-go-round here with your punters the last couple of years. It's time to lock in a long-term punter. I think Michael Turk is the perfect guy to do that. Again, uh, his uncle played for the Dolphins as well. Uh, it'd be a lot of fun uh, to see Michael Turk uh be the long-term punter, win this starting punter job over Jake Bailey. Which UDFA are you most excited about? Let me know down in the comment section. 
which UDFA are you most excited about? I'm saying Turk or Aubrey Miller, but let me know what you say. Uh, down, what you think down in the comments section. 